Hello everyone, great to see you again. So this is a recorded video on the 5th of January 2021 on Tuesday. So today I would like to talk about the Chikou Span, the essence of Chikou Span and what it really means. So every Tuesdays I talk about the Ichimoku basic lectures. So today's topic is about the Chikou Span. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer, this information is based on my experience and knowledge, so when you take trace, please do with your risk. So, Chikou Span. Right, Chikou Span um, is actually the line, one of the lines of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, and it shifted 26 backwards. So, every time I think about something, I think about the indicator or the price actions or strategy, I ask myself, what does that mean? And if you ask what does that mean question three times yourself, then you get to know uh, one thing better. So let me ask you one question. So Chikou Span is a yellow line. Right now I'm only showing the Chikou Span on the, on the chart. But Chikou Span is shifted 20 candles. So if I just measure the number of the candles from the current forming candle all the way to Chikou Span, this is 26 bars, 26 candles. So, let me ask you one question. So what does that mean? What does that mean by Chikou Span shifted 26 candles backwards? Um, the answer, the answer of this Chikou Span shifted 26 backwards means it shows the momentum of the market. Right, it shows the momentum of the market. And the momentum of the market is a very important uh, concept topic of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo as a whole. And Ichimoku Kinko Hyo Chikou Span takes a great part to capture the momentum of the market. So momentum in Ichimoku means the buyers and sellers equilibrium. And Ichimoku, as the name suggests, um, you can interpret the market at a glance whether the market is bull biased or uh, sell biased. So Chikou Span has shifted 26 backwards, meaning that this is Chikou Span shows the momentum of the market. So what does that mean? Right, so that means if the Chikou Span is below the candles, that means the market is bearish. And if the Chikou Span is above the candles, that means bullish market momentum. And more precisely, because this is 26 candles backwards, the fact that you see the Chikou Span below the candles, meaning that for the last 26 candles or 26 trading days, if this is a daily chart, for the last 26 trading days, the sellers are winning if the Chikou Span is below the candles. Um, and if the Chikou Span is above the candles, like on this Euro USD daily chart, right now that's Chikou Span above the candles. So that means for the last 26, 26 trading days, the buyers are winning and the sellers are losing. That's what it means for this Chikou Span. So, and when you see exactly Chikou Span overlaps with the candles, um, hold on, so let's see. Yeah, this one is uh, Euro Pound. Hold on, let me adjust the frame so that you can see the currency name here. So Euro Pound Chikou Span is very close to the candles and it's been a range market as a whole. So when you see Chikou Span very close to the candles like this, that means, or exactly overlaps with the candles like over here, that means the buyers and sellers for the last 26 candles, 26 trading days, are not winning, not losing, break even. So, so once again, if you see the Chikou Span above the candles, this is buyer's dominant and equivalence bullish. And if Chikou Span below the candles, the equivalence is sell biased. So, I ask you one more time, so what does that mean? Right, what does that mean? And in uh, what does that mean by the fact that the Chikou Span above or below the candles or in the candle? 
And the answer is actually the breakout. And that's why that Chikospan breakout is very important. When you see exactly that Chikospan breaks the candles, so over here the Chikospan overlap with the candles, and over here the Chikospan broke above the candles, and afterwards the Chikospan was supported by the candles and moved upwards like this. So this means until this day of uh, 1st of October 2020, uh, the Chikospan was overlapping with the candles. But after this day, 1st of October 2020, the Chikospan went above the candles. So this means the buyers are becoming dominant for the last 26 candles. So we can expect that there will be more buyers in the market than sellers because buyers are dominant. So buyers will follow, right? Uh, sellers will close positions and buyers follow this uptrend and the market tend to go up afterwards. And that's why Chikospan breakout is very important. And so this is a story behind of why Chikospan breakout is very important. So let me show you another example. Um, let's see, what would be the good example? So about this one, uh, USDCAD, right? USDCAD chart, if you see the Chikospan, like over here up until the 24th of September uh, last year, 2020, the Chikospan was overlapping with the candles. So the whole time, the buyers and sellers were not winning, not losing, break-evens. So that's why there is no direction, and that's why I suggest you not to take trades when Chikospan overlap with the candles. But once the Chikospan goes below the candles, like here, on the next day, 25th of September, this is the potential beginning of the downtrend because um, this is where the sellers are winning, start to win the market, and buyers are losing the market. And buyers will close the positions with the stops or they simply close the positions manually and uh, sellers will follow. Sellers will follow and the market goes down this way. And this is why Chikospan location is very important to read. So over here, Chikospan went downwards and it was, it went upwards again. It went upwards, but um, the, it was resisted by the candles and went down. So when you see exactly the candle, uh, I mean Chikospan overlap with the candle over here, uh, you don't really want to take trace because the Chikospan might go up. But uh, you, so you have to wait until that Chikospan gets away from the candles again. And which was happening exactly on this day, the 14th of uh, October. Over here, the Chikospan went below the candles and afterwards it has been below the candles. So Chikospan location is very important from this reason because it shows the market momentum and whether buyers and sellers are dominant or um, winning, losing. So, um, yeah, this is the essence of the Chikospan. And Chikospan is one of the five lines of Ichimoku. So, it's important to read the Kumo formation and Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, along with this Chikospan to read the market as a whole. So, I hope you liked today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day. So tomorrow on Wednesday, I talk about my strategy, KTS strategy, and I will show you exactly how you capture the trending market. So I hope you enjoy tomorrow's video. And if you're interested in learning the depth of Ichimoku, then I run the Ichimoku community. So if you come to my website and go to services and click on this Ichimoku community, this is where you see all the information. So, yeah, please read through. And if you're interested, I will be waiting for you to join this Ichimoku community. So, thank you for watching until the end. And please stay healthy and stay gold. Alright, see you next time. Bye for now. Mata ne.